G'day folks, Connor here from CW Tech Reviews, back with another video, and today we're doing the top three things I hate about the Galaxy Note 9. That's right, things I hate. So hit that like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into my video. Let's go. Okay everyone, so I recently picked up the Galaxy Note 9, and yes, in true form, I fell in love with it as soon as I opened it. Beautiful looking device. Fast, just stunning, and the performance is amazing. The camera is amazing. Having those video capabilities as well is amazing. But there is some things that really get my goat. And the first thing that annoys me just a little bit is the Samsung software. So we're talking Samsung Experience version 9.5, I believe. And yes, Samsung has come a long way with its software. It's, you know, each year it seems to get better and better. But lately I've noticed that it's stopped getting trimmer and it's still pretty beefy when it comes to a layer over the top of Android. Now a lot of these are features and features I truly love and the S Pen wouldn't work as well without Samsung Experience plastered over the top of Android. However, it still slows it down and it still gets in the way. So you still get double ups. You're still going to have to have two calendars, two email applications, two internet browsers. And I don't like having all these double apps. I love using Google Calendar. I love using Gmail as my email application. And I love using Chrome as my internet browser. And I can't get rid of the Samsung ones. So I do wish that Samsung would give us that option to get rid of the ones we don't want. I know it's hard for them to let go. And I imagine that they all work well together with the Samsung software. But there needs to be a point where we can choose what we want on there. And I wish that Samsung would give us more freedom when it comes to Samsung experience. Number two on my list of things I do not like about the Galaxy Note 9 is the battery. Now you all look at me like you're a little bit astounded because yes, we have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery here, but I cannot get through a full day without having to put it on charge. Now, some of this might be paranoia. I put it on charge when I get to around 30%, but I do spend most of my evenings on my phone, whether it's watching YouTube or Netflix or studying or working, I'm using my phone. And I don't want to have that panic in the background that I'm going to run out of battery. And that's what I get with this 4000 milliamp hour battery. As I get to around 6 p.m. and around 30%, maybe even less depending on what I've done. And I, I start to think, you know, I really need to put this on charge. Now, thankfully, we have quick charging and we can charge it up rather quickly, but I certainly do struggle to get through the day. Do I go overboard with my battery use? I don't really think so. So I get up around 5 a.m. and I watch about 20 minutes of YouTube or some form of media, check my emails and do social media and that sort of thing. Then I'll go for a run or a ride, and that's generally an hour to an hour and a half of GPS tracking because I do track my runs and my cycling through my application. I have my Galaxy Gear Fit 2 Pro hooked up as well. Then I'm out for the day working, so I might just be checking emails, taking the odd phone call, messaging the family, that sort of thing. So nothing too strenuous once I've finished my exercise. Also, while out at work, I will be listening to podcasts. So I'll always have Google Podcasts playing while I'm driving, and that might be for between two to four hours a day. Then when I get home, I'll settle down after dinner and get into some social media, uh, that sort of thing. Nokia 7 Plus, same size battery, 4000 milliamp hour battery, and I easily get through to the end of the day, no matter what I do. The honeymoon is worn off. I'm not totally in love with my Galaxy Note 9 anymore. I do think it's one of the best devices on the market, but the reality is that the software and the battery are not up to standard. Now my number one pet hate about the Galaxy Note 9 is, drum roll, Bixby. I cannot stand Bixby. It should never have been bought out. It should not be on my device. It should not be on any device anywhere in the world. I don't care how much Samsung pays people to say it's good, it's terrible. It's the worst assistant I have ever, ever come across. I try every day to use it and I nearly end up throwing my phone out the window. I cannot stand it. When I've got Google Assistant in the same device that works almost flawlessly when I decide to use it, it's a real struggle. And not only that, they've put a stupid button on the side that can't be remapped. It's dedicated. So they put a, a physical hardware button 
that's dedicated to the worst assistant on the whole planet. Samsung, you need to rethink this strategy. Now, I know that there's some lovers out there that are going to say, oh, no, nah, you're just a dumb guy. You don't know how to use it. And there's going to be some people out there that say, hey, it works brilliantly for me. Well, that might be your experience. It has never worked properly. All it does is call me anger and frustration because it never, ever works properly. I've got to calm down. I get too worked up when I talk about Bixby. It's just a killer. It is that bad. But there you have it. There's my top three things I do not like about the Galaxy Note 9. Galaxy Software Experience version 9.5 is still too heavy. The battery doesn't get me through a full day, even though it's 4,000 milliamp hours. And Bixby, absolutely, hands down, the worst assistant ever on the planet. Good night, Irene. Thank you for watching my video, and I will catch you in the next one. Check ya.